Just arrived at Den Holder on the way to Texel, otherwise pronounced as Tessel, we learned. Anyway, had to take the ferry and have to get a bike first. Let's see what OV bikes are available. We got our bikes. That was very lucky actually because they just sort of randomly allocate a key to you and you don't really get to choose which bike you get. Only some of the OV bikes fit me. But anyway, the one I got, it fits me. Um, we're going to take the bike and ride it to the ferry, take the ferry, and then we will arrive in Tessel Island. No filming up until probably we get to the ferry because we just have a lot to carry and we need to navigate. Oh, we made it to the boat, the ferry. One minute to spare. So I'll show you very quickly what the view is like. It's like being on a cruise ship, which I've actually never been on before. So yeah, just open sea. Just got our food, we're sitting down. Delicious. Delicious, okay, it's certified by husband. It must be good. Let's give it a go. So we got the kibling with chips and salad and a herring bruche, which is just like herring fish in a bread roll with pickles and onions. Not Gustavo's favorite, but I love herring, as you know. I've featured herring many times on my videos. Mmm. No, no, no. <laughs> Bon appetit! Time to eat! We just finished the delicious lunch and walked along the water but now we're going to the hotel. Uh, I think it's not too far of a bike ride from here is it? It's maybe just 10 minutes. Alright, we will see you back at the hotel. Bye bye! downstairs our hotel is so nice they offer complimentary tea and coffee for everyone even if you don't buy the hotel breakfast um, by the way I'm just quickly doing some makeup so I hope you don't mind I do that as I speak um, but yeah you just go downstairs they have free tea and coffee for everyone 
um you can order breakfast if you want but for us we just ended up buying some food from albert hein yesterday just some bread some fruit a muffin and had the free coffee so it all worked out really well for us i really needed the coffee i usually don't drink coffee anymore in the morning um but last night i had a really bad night of sleep not because of the hotel um it wasn't their fault there was a mosquito and as you know sometimes mosquitoes they love to come near your ear and make that really annoying noise it's like the worst sound that you can wake up to so gustav and i like had to wake up again and try to catch the mosquito we caught it we killed it went back to sleep then about 3 a.m or 4 a.m i woke up again because there was another mosquito near my ear oh anyway uh so i didn't wake up again to try to kill it but i just like had a really bad night of sleep because I just kind of kept hearing it buzzing near my ear so I'm that's why I'm putting on some makeup because um, I really need the extra help today we're gonna head out soon and yeah I'll see you later we'll see what we get up to it's a surprise <laughs> did we cycle for? I think we cycled for 30 minutes? 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. 30 minutes from the sheep farm and probably kilometers. another 10 15 kilometers. minutes to go to get to the northern tip of this island but we're just stopping to have a look at the beach because there's a bit of sand on the map. We actually want to go all the way to here at the very northern tip. This is a lighthouse. Yeah, I can't reach <laughs> over there, <laughs> but I can't reach any further.
time today. We are both absolutely exhausted. We have spent pretty much the whole day on our bikes, cycling all around the island. Our butts really hurt. We're a little bit sunburned. Sorry, mom. Um, but yeah, we, we really had a wonderful time there. I highly recommend the island. If you do go there, there's three tips that I can really give you. Uh, the first one is that it is extremely windy. So even though we went there during lovely summer weather, the sun was out, it was very, very warm. It's just like windy all year round. So make sure you take a few layers. The second tip is to, I guess, do some research on restaurants because there are a lot of really delicious places to eat at. Um, and we personally noticed that the portion sizes are really big on the island. So if you want, it's probably better off to just share a dish together. Um, if you're just going with two people, I would just order one dish. It, we quite often had heaps of leftovers and it was really sad to see a lot of the food get wasted. And the third tip is to take your OV bike. If you have a personal OV chip card, I did a video about the public transport system a while ago and I talked about how you can get an OV bike. This was a massive cost saver, but also just like really nice to be able to bike around the island I think it's like one of the nicest ways to explore the place of course you can drive as well there's lots of people there traveling by car um, but it's yeah just like really rewarding to go there via bike so those are my three big tips for you I hope you really enjoyed seeing what the weekend was like in Tessel and that it inspired you to organize a trip there yourself if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well because of course that will help my channel grow um, but yeah thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon I've got to go take a shower because I am so sweaty and disgusting <laughs> all right see you in the next one bye